Hi, welcome to Chemasu Start Online. We do research for your success. Now we are discussing on get previous year solved problems. So just look at the given problem. Among the following, deca hydroquinoline toluene sulfonates. Here tosyl groups. Okay, deca hydroquinoline toluene sulfonates. The one that yields 9 methyl amino E non 5 enol as the major product upon aqueous solvolysis is. Okay, so this is the reaction. So we need to produce the reaction product that is 9 methyl amino E non 5 enol from the deca hydroquinoline toluene sulfonates okay so which are given uh, as the options from these options we need to produce uh, 9 methyl amino enone 5 enol so we need to find the correct given option to produce it okay right so first we need to draw the structure of the reaction product so just observe it and uh, just uh, note the uh, points on it okay just draw the structure so this this is 9 methyl amino enone 5 enol okay so before solving the problem given problem so first we need to know some of the information uh, about so this bicyclic compounds okay here if you observe cis decaline so i have given with two methyl groups or two hydrogen groups just uh, observe in the place of here two metal groups are two hydrogens and i have given two groups are back side and you may give two groups on to the uh, above side of the plane of the given uh, tecaline okay right and if we have cis tecalines then it's a chair conformation structure is like that in which two hydrogens are getting axial and equatorial positions okay axial and equatorial positions and if we observe trans decaline in its chair conformation so just it uh, will be just like that and uh, with two hydrogens are in axial axial positions okay now just come to the given problem structure in that uh, if we take cis form okay and uh, its structure will be like this uh, n methyl may be here you may you may put it here or may here okay right and if we take trans structure of it and it will be just like this okay so just draw them now come to the given problem to solve it and if you observe the first option okay and we have given with aqueous solvolysis in the given substrate we have tosyl axi group on that so it is a leaving group and when it reacts with proton it leaves very quickly okay so in from the aqueous solution the tosyl axi group the lone pair of electrons and oxygen can abstract a proton from the aqueous media aqueous media okay and after that the cleavage of tosyl hydroxide takes place okay by that there is a formation of carbocation okay and after the formation of carbocation here okay after the formation of carbocation then we need to check for anti periplanarity okay to compensate the carbocation which is formed at the place of tosyl hydroxy tosyl axi group okay the compensating group should be anti periplanar for it okay and in the given first option we have hydrogen and tosyl axi groups are in anti periplanar that means they are anti to each other so that's why simply the hydrogen okay it donates its electrons onto the carbocation and formation of double bond on it okay so this is not our product so just leave it now uh, comes to the option b here if you observe the option b it is also having same tosyl axi group and the hydrogen are in anti to each other so that's why simply by the following same mechanism we get alkene there okay so that's why it is also not our given product now if you observe the option c in the option c we have given with trans 
transform that means in the fusel position we have two hydrogens are in trans to each other okay and uh, hydrogen and tocil oxy groups are in same side they are in cis positions okay now so here please draw the structures carefully okay and uh, if you take the given structure option c in chair conformation okay then the hydrogen gets axial position and the tocil oxy group gets equatorial position back side of the uh, group okay and i have given with a red pen red ink pen towards us and black ink pen that means black mark or black drawing is back side of the uh, back side to us just imagine that tocil oxy group is away from us okay and then by the clip by the abstraction of plot uh, by the uh, absorbing or abstracting h plus or proton from the aqueous media and by the cleavage of tocil oxy group then there is a formation of uh, carbocation at the place of tocil oxy group okay and it has anti periplanarity with the thick bond so just observe the thick bonds tocil oxy group is in thick uh, thick bond uh, thick drawing and one fused ring is also in thick bond that means they are in trans to each other and the lone pair of electrons on the nitrogen can trigger that anti periplanar uh, transfer of the group okay and by that by the cleavage of that bond and we get the, this one okay and we get uh, alkene trans alkene okay and uh, nitrogen has positive charge because of it donates electrons on it and further the oh minus uh, which is in uh, which is present in the aqueous solution so it act as nucleophile and it can attack and to this double bond to compensate positive charge which is formed on the nitrogen uh, by the donation of electrons okay uh, by the donation of electron uh, electrons of the nitrogen in this step okay right now uh, after that uh, to get the final product the bond between the oxygen and nitrogen cleaves and the bond goes on to the oxygen and then the bond cleaves between the carbon and nitrogen and we get the final product okay so this is the final product and if you stretch it you get the final product as given in the uh, problem okay so option c is the correct answer or uh, reaction uh, substrate for the given reaction product okay now if you observe the option d so in the option d also we have tocil oxy group and hydrogen are in cis positions okay but the fused ring uh, fused decaline is in cis manner okay cis that means two hydrogens are in same side for that for cis decaline we have the structure in chair conformation like this okay and in this condition uh, so the thick bonds are in anti periplanar and it can cleave the tocil oxy group and they, there is a formation of double bond or uh, that means trans e or trans alkene formation but there is the involvement of steric repulsions okay so in this cis conformation the nucleophile cannot okay nucleophile cannot enter into add here that means there is the uh, steric uh, strong steric repulsions this is not possible so that's why option c is the correct reaction substrate to give the given uh, product okay right thank you